Um, so firstly, I'm going to start with the netball fouls. So, where the netball fouls which occur in netball um, is made due to the player being either unfair, dangerous, or due to misconduct of play. Um, so in netball, you cannot run with the ball, so therefore this is called footwork. Um, if the um, so if you do the footwork, this will then be the ball will pa be passed to the opposition, and they will have a free pass. And um, also, there's no contact in netball, therefore you cannot push, kick, or inflict any um, pain or harm on anybody. So no shoving of the elbows. Um, so again, if this is seen, the umpire will stop it, and it will lead to the opposition having a free pass. Um, so there's this leads up to um, another um, foul, which is obstruction. So if someone comes in with a meter of the person with the ball, they will be uh, obstructing. So this equals to a free pass. But if the obstruction happens inside the D, um, when someone's taking a shot, um, this will then turn into a free pass when they would have the opposition who was obstructing has to stand by their side whilst the other team can have their shot. Um, there's the offside rule, um, which is a player, um, the, um, the offside rule. So each player have a certain third they have to go in and stay in. Um, some players can go in all thirds, so like your centres, but they can't go in the D. Whereas some players can only go in two thirds, so that's like your wing attacks and wing defences. And then some are restricted to one third, which is your goal shoot and goal keep. Um, Therefore, if a player goes, um, if a certain position goes into the third they're not meant to be in, they will be blown up by the umpire and it will be a free pass for the opposition. Um, also, there you cannot um, travel, no, you cannot throw the ball across three thirds. So, um, it obviously has to be passed down by player by player in each third. Um, you cannot replay the ball. So, this means. Um, the uh, you can't bounce the ball purposely and you can't catch it again. So if you drop it, um, and it was your fault and the dropping purpose, then you can't recatch it because that would be replayed. Um, so, but if you accidentally drop it, like the ball was thrown poorly to you, then you can pick it back up. Um, so you cannot uh, replay the ball in netball. Um. So, oh, the other thing is with replay, also if a shooter um, has a shot and the ball doesn't actually hit the ring of the net, that same person cannot catch it because it actually hasn't touched anything else, an object or another person. So this is also counted as a replay ball and it will be given to the opposition for a free pass. Lastly, um, ensure that the game keeps its um, like a flow, a nice um, fast game. Um, there is a three second rule. Um, which um, means if you hold on to the ball for three seconds, it's then um, it's then rewarded as a free pass. Uh, so these are just a couple of um, pictures demonstrating some of the fouls. So mainly they're all obstruction, it's coming over the shoulder, um, obviously pushing into each other. And this is obviously the obstruction when they're shooting, should just come in behind there. So next, I'm um, just going to talk about some scenarios in netball. So, um, so the second scenario is about three second rule. This is when the ball is held longer than three seconds, such as wing attack is passed the ball to center. Center is on the edge of the D trying to um, send the ball to let one of the shooters have a shot. So goal attack um, or goal shoot in the D currently. Um, but due to the fence being quite tight and strong, centre held the ball more than three seconds. Therefore, the umpire will stop play by blowing the whistle, hold up three fingers um, in the air to show which foul has taken place, and then point to the goal of the opposition, um, which then shows that they will take the ball. And once they're standing in the correct place, they will take um, the free pass and they will carry on the game. Um, the second scenario is um, about replaying the ball. So centre has passed the ball into the D. The goal attack catches the ball. Due to being right under the net, goal attack takes a shot, but unfortunately it didn't go in and didn't hit the ring of the goal and comes back down. Therefore, goal attack catches it again. 
this would be a replay. Therefore, the umpire will blow the whistle, gain stop play, alternate palms facing to the sky, moving their hands up and down will show that the foul has taken place, which is replayable, um, and therefore the opposition gets a free pass. Um, but say if another player got it, um, caught it, such so as goal shoot, goal defence, or goal, goal keep, um, then if the ball was obviously misplaced or the goal shoot even passed it back to goal attack, it would be fine. They could have another shot. So a playing area for volleyball, the shape of the court is rectangular. Rectangular. Therefore, the sidelines, um, there are sidelines two. There's two longer sides, and the end lines are the two shortest. So you can see here in the picture, these are the two longer lines, and these are the end lines. Also, they're the shortest. Um, the end lines are also called service lines because this is where you would take um, a serve when you're obviously playing the game. Um, there is a line in the middle of the court underneath the net to split the court in half to give the teams the area that they should stay in. So this is that side of their court. And there's one more line which is three metres away from the centre line. This is normally called the attacking line. Um, so the first scenario for volleyball, um, a double hit um, is... Um, the ball comes back um, over the net to the red team. One of the players in this team, they use a dig um, to put the ball up in the air, but this doesn't go straight above their this does go straight above them, so therefore they didn't move in time for another player to set the ball. So the first player um, who dig the ball sets the ball again, so therefore this would be a double hit because the player um, hit the ball two times in a row. The umpire will blow the whistle holding up, fingers two fingers sorry in the air to show which foul has taken place and the opposition will start the um start with the ball so the second scenario is the red team sets the ball um over um the net to the blue team one of the blue team player digs the ball and another player strikes the ball up uh, spikes sorry the ball which hits the opposition side of the court and therefore winning the point and within the lines um Therefore, the umpire will hold up their arm horizontally to the side who won the rally and hold up one finger in the air as well to indicate that they did win the rally. Um, scenario three is the blue team goes for a spike. They get it over the net, but it goes out, out over the side, um, side line. Therefore, the umpire will blow the whistle, hold up their arm, um, straight, um, obviously to the correct team who did the, um, who hit it out. Uh, so this would be the red team and um, tell them that the ball was out of play.